Hey everyone, Stephanie here. So this is going to be a Daiso haul. I recently had a Daiso open up in my area and I will show you the things that I grabbed. I went a couple of times and I will show you what I got on each trip. Okay, so this stuff is from the first day that I went in there. Y'all, it was so crowded in there on opening day. Um, it was just a zoo. And I went later in the day, right? I thought, okay, well, maybe everybody went early in the morning because they had like gift bags that were given out. I went later in the day, like four o'clock, and it was so packed in there, y'all. So packed. So I literally only went to like three aisles. Plus my foot, I have a boot on my foot. So, you know, trying to maneuver and walk, you know, in aisles with all those people, it was just a whole mess. So I just got this little bit of stuff and I got out of there. The line was just a back of the store. And then later in the week, I went back because my physical therapy is not too far from there, right? So let me show you what I grabbed, all right? So again, this is from two trips. So this thing here is a masking tape holder. So I hope it holds some of these tapes because I got some of this washi tape. I thought it was really cute. And um, they have a really nice selection of washi tape in there. And um, yeah, so it holds, I think, three. Yeah, it looks like it holds three. So you see one, two, three. So I'm gonna give it a shot. And if I like it, I may get another um another one when I get in there. And everything in Daiso is a dollar seventy-five and up. I think some stuff maybe, you know, two dollars, three dollars, five dollars. They might even have some ten dollar stuff in there. I'm not sure. But it's essentially a Japanese dollar store, is what it is. And they're open all around the country. So you can check and Google your state and see if you have one, you know, close to you. Because they have some really cute items there. Especially if you craft or do art and things like that. They have a lot of nice stuff, in, in, in my opinion. And a lot of great storage things. And I, was, I got a few a few storage things and I'll show you that. So I got I got this. Um, so yeah, I'm going to give that a shot, okay? And then, I'm kind of just going random here. Um, they have these little card sets. Look at that. That's the um, Klimt. Gustav Klimt, I have the book and a paper collection from this artist, and I love it. So they have these cute little uh, card collections in there. Um, I guess you get like a, looks like you get a postcard and yeah, just, a, you know, little stuff like that. I'm going to put this, yeah, see Gustav Klimt. I'm going to put this in my, um, one of my journals. They had different card sets from different artists, y'all, and they had a paper, um, like an impressionist paper collection in there. I didn't get that one. Um, so they do sell paper, some, you know, like little small packs of paper and stuff. I just didn't get that one. But I like, I really like this artist. I love his work. So it's just really beautiful. These postcards are beautiful. Wow. Really pretty. So yeah, I grabbed those. Really nice. Um, I have the paper collection, the Gustav Klimt paper collection from Stamperia, and I love it. So... Um, this yeah. is a divided folder, like a little file folder. I have to have clear things to see out of y'all because I have ADHD diagnosed and treated. And one of the things is that you, for, for those of us who have this, you know, for some of us, we have to be able to see things in order to use them or we forget about it. Right. So um, I saw they had a lot of really cute little storage, um, you know, things for papers and notebooks and stuff like that. I was like, oh, wow. So. They actually have one bigger than this, which I may get next time, but you know, it's, this works out great. Sorry about the crinkling. So it's just a little, it was a dollar 75 and it was, it's just a little, you know, a little file folder like that. I can put ephemera or anything in there, right? Stickers or whatever. So at the very least, I can still see what's in it from the back, you know, in the front. So at least I'll know what's in there. All right. I'm going to just toss that. And then I got this. This is a, um, a pocket folder it has 20 pockets. And I believe you just slide your pieces down in the, yeah, you just slide them from the top. So I thought this would be kind of cool just for like art and stuff like that. So yeah, you just, um, I believe you just slide it. Yeah, I think you slide it from the top. Let me see. How can I open this? Let me see. Can I open this, y'all? Also a dollar seventy-five. And yeah, see, it's just clear, which is nice. And then um, I believe, oh, they have one that had 40 pockets. I should have got that one. And I like this because you can use this also for, um, yeah, see, it just un, uh, comes apart at the top and you can slide stuff in there. Like, you know, artwork, jelly prints, whatever, right? Oh, yeah, I like that. I'm glad I got one of those. And I don't think you can put anything um, in the cover. It's just, it just, it's just there so you can see through it. So that works out great, okay? So love that. 
These are bigger uh, divider folders. These are A4 size, and uh, you get four pockets. And these are going to be for my jelly prints and my other, you know, art papers. Uh, let's open this. This is also cute. I like this. So I can see kind of what I put in here, you know, in the front. Let's see how it looks. Let's put this in here. Oh, yeah. See, I can see what's in here from the front because I bought the... I have... I've had some uh, colored ones in the past, and it's just hard for me to know what's inside of them if I can't see what's in them, and I kind of forget about them. And then when I'm digging through my stash and trying to clean my room up, I'm like, oh, here's that what I've been looking for, you know, because it's someplace where I can't see it. So I need to be able to see it. But um, yeah, so this is great. This is going to be nice. And it's nice and big, y'all. It's A4. So I can put bigger papers in here. So I love that. Oh, okay. We like that. So... I'm glad I got two. I might have to get a couple more of these. These were dollars seventy-five. Okay. Um. So yeah, they had. Um. Let's see here. This is how you snap it together here. So they had some that was bigger than this, but um. It, well, when I say bigger, I mean they had more um slots. So I don't know. We'll see. I'm gonna use these two first and see how I like it, and then. If I need one with the uh, bigger slot, then I will grab that one. Okay, so that's what that is. Divided folder A4 size. Okay, so, so. all of these uh, were $1.75 each. Okay, um, so they're calling it masking tape. We call it washi tape, but, you know, it's basically the same thing. <laughs> so let's just open this. Uh, I'm just going to pull it out of here. I'm not going to, like, unravel it or anything, but that's really cool. It looks like a little little brick um, road or whatever. I think this is going to be really cool in art. That's why I got these, y'all. Because I tend to use these when I'm doing my collage and stuff in my journals. And that's what I use it, you know, use that kind of tape for. Now look at this one. It says designer, design roll stickers. I think these are stickers. Um, yeah, this is a dollar seventy-five as well. Usually when it's usually when it's not a dollar seventy-five, y'all, it'll say up here at the top, two dollars, three dollars, whatever, you know. And they have signs in the store too, so. All right, so let's go ahead and open this one. I believe these are stickers. Let's open this. Uh, let's see. Oh, so I think you just peel off the... Um, let's see. I think you just peel that off, right? You just cut or you cut it. Oh, look at that. That's cool. Different little scenes. Oh, very cool. I think that's nice. It's going to look cute in a, uh, in a journal. All right, so... That's cool. Okay, so that's another nice one we like. We will take our trash and throw it away when we we're done. Um, this is another one. I don't know if this is. This looks like maybe a three piece. Um, little set here. Let's open this. Oh, no, let's see. Oh, it might just be. Oh, it might just be. You know what? It's like railroad tracks. Oh, I just got that. I thought it was three pieces, but it's one piece, and it looks like a uh, railroad tracks. So I like that. That's going to be very cool in a journal. And an art journal in the background. Oh, that's going to be really cool. So, look at that. Three very unique pieces of um, washi here. Yeah, very cool. We like that. Okay. As you can see, this one it was also $1.75. But it has, like, little, you know, little florals and stuff on it, y'all. I'm trying to hold it still so the camera can focus on it. It's really cute. I think it'll be cute in a journal, you know, on a journal page. And I like that it's kind of subtle, but you still have a little something going on. So, yeah, that one was really cute. All right. This is Dry dry Flower Series. They had a lot of really cute little washi tapes, y'all. Really, really cute. And then this one, um, let's see. Let's open this one. All right, y'all. So, this is the washi tape up close. And this one is really cool. If I turn it, it's going to, the focus is going to make it blurry. So, I'm just going to give you this kind of little um, view of it. But it's really cute. It's It's just really fun and funky and you know, that kind of thing. Oh, okay. It worked. <laughs> um, yeah, I like this. Black and white always works in, um, like the, the background of journals, black and white works great in journals. Okay. So this is just polka dot. Okay. Just regular polka dot. I don't like that. It's a little bit see-through. So that's kind of cool. I'm going to, uh, open all these and put them in my little thing over there. This is regular black and white. So that's cool. So yeah, we got some cool, fun, uh, new washi tapes to, to use. All right. So then this one, I, I got a feeling that this one is just regular um, tape, like decor tape. Well, um, you know what? So tape like this, you probably have to use glue in the background, glue, you know, to glue it down. But you get like a mint green, like a pink, soft pink, pink like, and then a gold and a silver. So, you know, I think these are pretty cute. 
so I will use them in my makes. All right. The rest so. of the things I grabbed to die. So um, I grabbed these clips, these huge clips. You get three in a pack. Uh, spring clip silvers. I like these. I didn't have any this big, so I wanted some. Okay. So I just grabbed three, a pack of these. I love dice, so they have the best stationery, in my opinion. I grabbed some of these cute little bags. You get four pieces. It says for gift wrapping, but you could use them for anything. Sorry, it's flashing out. It's black. But they had a lot of cute little bags and stuff. They got a lot of Disney stuff, y'all. For those of you who like Disney, they had um, anime stuff. They had Hello Kitty. They had a lot of st stuff in it. So if you haven't been into a dice in a while and you have one near you, uh, I would, you know, say pop in and just check it out, okay? And check these out. These are like journals. Well, they're photo albums, y'all, but you know what I'm going to use as a journal. So I got two of these. All right, again, everything I got was $1.75. So let's open this. I really wanted to see this. I didn't want to open it in the store. So I'm going to use this as a, like a little journal, okay? A little, um, what do they call them, concertinas or whatever? So it's really a photo album, okay? Yes, that's what I was hoping it is. Look at that. You can make a really cool journal out of this. Oh, my goodness. Look at that. Back and forward. Yep, that's exactly what that is. Oh, I love that. Oh, I'm so glad I got two of these. And they only had these two colors. They had the craft color and the black. I didn't see white, but um, that would have been cool. And then you, um, let me see. Can you, oh, you do it like that. Oh, like this. You. Well, it opens, let me see. <laughs> Duh, I messed it up. Let me see. So, yeah, it opens up like that. Oh, that's going to be so cool to play with in a journal. I'm going to use that. Y'all, I might try to do a video on this. We'll see. I like that. Oh, I'm so glad I got these. So cute. Exactly what I was thinking about. I was like, oh, yes, I'm going to have to grab one of those. So I got those two, okay? And then this is, says this cloth adhesive tape. I don't even know what that means. So let's open it up. I don't know. I think it's just black masking tape, black, like, tape. So, um, I don't know. I'll probably just use it for packages, maybe. Or who knows? I might put it in a journal. I don't know. But, um, yeah, that's what it looks like. So, yeah, just regular, I guess, tape, thick tape, you know. Oh, so, all right. Nothing exciting there. <laughs> I thought it was some, like, some kind of, you know, different or whatever, but it's not. I love these. Oh, my God. Such a good purchase, those, okay? Now, check this out, I Daiso sells um, food stuff, you know, like stuff for the house, right? Stuff for the kitchen, stuff for the bathroom, things like that. They sell um, snacks in there and everything. Now, when when I get my um, rice paper, I get it at Daiso because it's $1.75. And the same rice paper is like $7 on Amazon. So I just happened to be in the kitchen aisle just checking things out because it wasn't as crowded. The second time I went, it was still crowded, but not like the first day, you know. And I thought, I wonder is this deli paper, y'all. It says it's for cooking, oil-absorbing uh, cooking paper. So that's what I'm thinking. It's for a temporal paper sheet. I don't know. I just grabbed one of each. They're both for, you know, for that. I'm thinking, oh, that's got to be deli paper, right? So they're different sizes. And they had, yeah, they have three different sizes. So I got this one, the big one, right? I got that one. I got this one. And I got this one. So I don't know. I want to see. I, I have a feeling. Well, let me see. Can I open this? No. So you can't really open it in the store, you know, like that. Let's see if we can open. Let's see. Let's try this one. But you can kind of open it at the bottom here. I was going to use this for jelly printing. I like using this kind of paper for jelly printing and like spraying with uh, my Tim Holtz sprays and using it for collage. Okay. So let's see. Let's see. Let's, 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 let's test. Okay. We're going to take a piece out. Oh, it's waxy on one side. But it's kind of like papery on this side. So I would say if I did jelly printing, it would be just be on the, the not the waxy side, but the, the you know, this side. The sort of, dry, uh, not dry side, but you know what I mean, non-shiny side. So that's what that is. Oh, okay. But well, it'll still glue down because, you know, I've, I've collaged on um like wax paper before and um parchment paper and stuff like that. So yeah that's gonna be cool and i like that it's different sizes so all right well we got that all right so i got that pack and i got this other pack so they're probably all the same i'm assuming i don't know let me see this 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 doesn't yeah this looks like it might have a shiny side to it but it doesn't matter because you know we can stamp on it and chow we can color with crayons and do all kinds of stuff with this paper okay i really want to look at the big one here let's look at the big one I was curious about this big one. Let's see. It's probably the same, I'm assuming. I was thinking it's more along, sorry. I was thinking it was more along the lines of actual deli, like deli tissue. 
Um, but we'll see. Let's see. Let's see. This one might be. Let's see. Oh, I think. Oh, uh, no. Same thing. Okay. So it is uh, slightly, slightly waxy on this side, y'all. Yeah, so it's slightly waxy on this side. And then, um, like, you know, like more flatter on this side. So, yeah, I would definitely use this, though. So I'm glad I got these, okay? Now I know. I got one there a long time ago. It was kind of similar, and I used all of it. So, you know, you can definitely use these in your art. So great for collage, jelly printing, all of that, all right? So I'm glad I only got one of each, though. I didn't get, like, four, you know or this or that and all that no it's too much all right everyone that is it for my Daiso haul i'm very glad that i got some of this stuff i'm very glad i was able to hobble in there and get some stuff so i'll be popping in from time to time to see what you know what new items they get but i really love these these are fabulous i might even pop in there and just get uh one or two more of these because i really like these are gonna be so much fun to work in i'm so excited i'm gonna see if they have this in white that'd be great if i can find it in white you know i can paint in it and, and collage in it and everything else so all right, so if you have any questions or comments, you can leave it below and I'll answer you, get back to you and give me a follow on my social media. My Linktree link is listed down in the description. Okay, and you just click the link and it'll take you to all of my social media. Um, Facebook, Instagram, X, Twitter, all of that, okay? Well, I'll say X, X and Twitter, same thing. It's, tw it's Twitter to me. It'll always be Twitter. Okay, uh, TikTok, all of that, okay? And uh, I thank you for watching and I will catch you next one. Ciao.